Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Rabbil Jinni Wal Insi Wal Malaika Wal Ruh Wassalatu Wassalamu Ala Man Kana Nabiya Wa Adamu Bain Al Ma'i Wa Tin Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Ajma'in Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Ala Alihi Wa Ahli Baytihi Wa Azwajihi Wa Dhurriyatihi Wa Ashabihi Ajma'in Subhanaka La Ilma Lana Illa Ma Allamtana Innaka Anta Al Alim Al Hakim Rabbi Shrah Li Sadri Wa Yassir Li Amri Wa Ahlul Uqdatan Min Lisani Yafqahu Kawli ربنا يسر ولا تعسر وتم بالخير وبك نستعين يا فتاح اللهم اجعلنا دعاة إليك وإلى رسولك اللهم فقهنا في الدين وعلمنا القرآن الحكيم ربنا زدنا علما أما بعد فَأَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Allah addresses the believers here and hearing are some ahkam and laws O you who believe إِذَا نَكَحْتُمُ الْمُؤْمِنَاتِ When you do nikah when you marry the mu'minat the believing woman and then for some reason or the other things don't work out thumma and subhanallah the atf comes with thumma which shows that thumma is for taqir you don't get married and you divorce next day next month give it some time do all that you can do because this is abdadul mubahat the most hated of all the permissible things. The Quran is so deep, Allah says, Thumma, Tallaq to Muha. And then you divorce them. Min Kabli and Tamasuhunna, before touching them. Before touching them, Allah is speaking about a special type of touch here, which is the touch of Jima. The touch of intercourse. Wa fi kiratin in one kirat to masuhunna. I before min kabli anta masuhunna simply means before to jami una hunna. Before you do mujama'a and jima with them. So you marry. Things are not going too good. You've given it everything that you can, both of you all, going through all the channels for reconciliation. And then you divorce them, but the marriage was not consummated. Men kablian tamasuhunna. Then, fama lakum alayhinna min iddatin ta'tadunaha. Then there is no iddat upon you. There is no iddat of theirs upon you which you have to count. Which you will record and count. So they have no iddat for you to count one month, two months, three months. 
Know it that that do na ha and it to suna ha which you will count and record. Bil akra through kuru according to Imam Shafi'i because the author of this book, despite all his knowledge of kira'a as well as fiqh, hadith, Quran, nasik, mansuk, Arabic language, adab, maani. He is still muqallad. He is of the madhab of Imam al-Shafi'i. And according to the madhab of Imam al-Shafi'i, the period would be three periods of purity. The word qar'un can mean tuhrun. According to Imam Shafi'i, it can mean hayz. According to Imam Abu Hanifa, So there is no period of any iddah. There is no waiting period for them. There is no iddah for them which you have to count and record. Bil akra through the kuru or or anything, anything besides that. For instance, if a woman is not having her highs, perhaps her highs is not coming, or some sickness or disease through any method where you can count what would be the time for three highs or three periods of purity according to Imam Shafi'i. فَمَتِّعُوهُنَّ Then give them the motto of talaq. We were speaking about this before it came and it was mentioned by the author that it would be defined later on. What is the motto of talaq? That is, when you give a woman talaq, you give her something which she could get benefit from. That is called mut'atut talaq. So Allah says that even in talaq, there should be a good relationship. Talaq should not be in a jahili way and an ignorant way and spiteful way. But famatti'uhunna, then give them their muta'a. You didn't touch them. You had no mojama with them. Marriage wasn't consummated. Then there's no iddat for you. There's no iddat of theirs for you, which you have to count. Famatti'uhunna, give them the muta of talaq. That is, u'tuhunna, give them ma yatamatta'na bihi, that which they could receive benefit and enjoyment from, which is the muta and the goods or the benefit of talaq. I, that is, in lam yusammi lahunna asdiqa. If the person has not named for them asdiqa, yani sadaq or sidaq, if he did not mention any dowry for them, no mention of dowers or dowries, then it is wajib and essential to give them this muta of talaq. In lam yusammi lahunna asdiqatan, if he did not mention for them any dowers or dowries for these ladies. Wa illa, otherwise, if he had mentioned a dowry, or he had mentioned asdiqa, he had mentioned dowries for the ladies. Wa illa, falahunna, then for them, for the women, the mu'minat, al-mutallaqat, belonging to the mu'mineen, فَلَهُنَّ نِصْفُ الْمُسَمَّةِ Then they get half, for them will be half of that which was mentioned. So if you had mentioned in your marriage terms or before your nikah that your dowry is going to be $5,000, you did not touch them, then they get half of the dowry. That is, فَلَهُنَّ نِصْفُ الْمُسَمَّةِ فَقَطْ alone. قَالَهُ إِبْنُ Abbas. This is the view of Ibn Abbas. وَعَلَيْهِ الشَّافِئِيُّ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ وَسَرِّحُوهُنَّ سَرَاحًا جَمِيلًا And release them in a handsome, beautiful way. A beautiful releasing. يَنِي قَلُّوا سَبِيلَهُنَّ Make their pathway available for them. 
leave their pathway for them to go min ghayri idrar without any idrar hurt harm abuse so the masala here the law here is that divorce has taken place before any mujama and intercourse no consum no consummation of the marriage it was not consummated point number 1 there is no it that which you have to count second point is that famati uhunna give them their muta the muta of talaq it is wajib if you did not mention if you o believers did not mention for them any dowries if you had mentioned for them dowries and you didn't touch them then they get half of the dowry faqat and the muta which you will give to them will not be mustahab qalahu ibn abbas wa alayhi shafi and if you had mentioned the dowry for them and you had you had touched them if you had entered them and you had mentioned the dowry for them then they get the whole dowry they get the whole dowry if we look in number 2 utuhunna ma yatamatta'na yani yatamatta'na bi give them that which they're going to receive some benefit from wa hiya almut'atu alwajiba lil mufaraqa fil hayati which is a mut'a which is wajib essential lil mufaraqa fil hayat for the girl that has been separated or even for the separation that separation in life that is a marital life idha kanat madkulan biha aw ghayra madkulan biha whether she was entered or she was not entered she gets the muta'a idha kanat madkulan biha aw ghayra madkulan biha wa kanat mufawwadatan and she was entrusted to him wa lam yufrad laha shay'un but nothing was stipulated for her no dowry was mentioned for her qabla al firaq that is before that firaq and before that talaq and separation so this muta is wajib and is essential for that separation from one's wife fil hayat in this life in this world in this especially in marital life here separation from that and this muta idha kanat madkulan biha is to be given if she has been entered aw ghayra madkul or if she has not been entered it doesn't matter wa kanat mufawwadatan and she was entrusted to him and this is such a scenario wa lam yufrad laha shay'un qabla al firaq that nothing was mentioned and stipulated for her before the firaq wa ashara sharihu ila hadha at tafsil this tafsil this detail the author the sharih has indicated towards that biqawlihi in lam yusammi lahunna asdiqatan ila akhirihi if he did not if he did not name for her asdiqa any dowry or any dowers الى اخر التفسير الجنوب وقال في التفسير الاحمدي ان التفسير الاحمدي it is mentioned fa in kana furidha laha mahrun if 
a mahar was stipulated for her, a dowry was named and stipulated for her, then yajibu ala zawji, it is wajib upon the zawj, nisful mafrud, half of that which she had stipulated for her. As I said, he mentioned before, $5,000 in dowry. So therefore, she will get half of that if a dowry was mentioned. وَالْمُتْعَةُ حِينَ إِذِنْ The mutta in that case is going to be mustahabba. Mustahab. وَإِنْ لَمْ يُفْرَضْ لَهَا مَحْرٌ and if no dowry was stipulated for her, لم يجب من المهر شيء then nothing of the mahar is upon him. ولكن يجب المتعة حين إذن but the muta is wajib in that case, in that instance. And what is that muta? وهي درع وخمار وملحفة على الأصح. It's a suit. She gets like a dress, a khimar, a milhafa. Milhafa is that which, like a shawl. Alal asah, upon the most authentic kaul. So this is the hukum and the ruling concerning the mutallaqa that Allah is saying to give them that muta'a, which is wajiba. And that muta which you give to them, does, it does not depend upon the, mar the consummation of the marriage. It doesn't depend upon that. Whether it was consummated or whether it was not consummated, that muta is granted to her when she has been given and entrusted to you. And nothing of the dowry was mentioned before the firaq. And this is what is in our Jalala in here, the author indicated towards that. And this much has been mentioned in Tafsir al Jumal, and just by way again, in a Tafsir al Ahmadi, it's mentioned that if some dowry was stipulated for her, a dowry was fixed and mentioned for her, then it is now wajib upon the Zawj to give half of that which was stipulated for her. And the muta in this case, which she will give, wal muta to hina idin mustahabbatun is mustahabba, mustahabba. If he did not mention any dowry for her, then lam yajib min al mahri shayun, nothing of the mahar and dowry is wajib for him. But in that case, the muta now becomes wajib, which is the suit. Dirun wa khimarun wa milhafa, dress, khimar, milhafa, shawl, halal asah. So, this is the tafsir of the ayat that if you marry the mu'minat and then you divorce them in kabli and tamasuhunna before you touch them. Then فَمَا لَكُمْ عَلَيْهِنَّ مِنْ إِدَّةٍ There is no idda that you have to go through for them, which you have to count. فَمَتِّعُوهُنَّ You give them the mut'a. وَسَرِّحُوهُنَّ سَرَاحًا جَمِيلًا And you release them in a fair, handsome, good releasing in a beautiful way. قَلُّوا سَبِيلَهُنَّ Give their pathway to them. Let them exit. مِنْ غَيْرِ إِذْرَارِ Without any إِذْرَارِ if only we could adopt these laws into our lives, because normally at the time of talaq, it's a time of quarrel and dispute. And, and then the Islamic court or the Islamic cover is left out. And women, men, they go to the courts now to see what they can get. And the wife wants to claim half of his property. And there's dispute, but Allah is telling us otherwise because we are Muslims and we are believers. On this point here is an interesting story to show the depth of understanding the fiqh of Imam Abu Hanifa It is mentioned in the seerah 
and the biography of Al Imam Al Azam, Imam Abu Hanifa, Nawar Allahu Marqadahu wa Nafa'ana bi Ulumihim Amin. That in his time and his age, two princes got married to two sisters. And this is a royal wedding, a royal nikah. As chance would have it, or as taqdeer or destiny would have it, the, one of the princes, he entered the wrong chamber that night. And the other one went in, obviously, to the wrong chamber. And they slept that night, spent that night with the wrong girls. In the morning, there was turmoil in the palace, chaos, confusion, noise, big uproar in the palace, big mistake, big mix-up in marriage. And all the, the fuqaha, the jurists and scholars, they were dumbfounded. Imam Abu Hanifa Ali Rahma was called for, his opinion was asked, his law, and look at the depth of his fiqh. He came and he solved it so simply. He asked the, one of the princes, the woman that you slept with that night, you find her to be good, attractive, compatible, you like her? He said yes. And he asked the other brother, the other prince, the same question. The woman you slept with, you like her, you love her, she's good? He said yes. He said simple. So he said, you now divorce your wife and you divorce your wife. And new nikah will take place. Because the law, where did he get it from? The law he got it from the ayat. Ya you alladina manu idha nakahtumul mu'minat. Thumma talaktumuhunna. And then you do talaq. Min qabli an tamassuhunna before touching them. So obviously the prince did not touch his wife. فَمَا لَكُمْ عَلَيْهِنَّ مِنْ إِدَّةَ تَعْتُونَهَا Then there is no iddat, so there is no iddat for her to go through. Talaq, talaq ibayina, clear distinct talaq, marriage is cut, she has no iddat. Okay? And just give her her mut'ah. If her dowry was mentioned, if her dowry was mentioned, he gives her what? Half of the dowry. And then in that case, the mut'ah is what? Mustahab. If no dowry was mentioned, then nothing but it muta is wajib. And like that, so simple. Talak, talak, nika, nika. But that's the fiqh and the depth of Imam Abu Hanifa alayhi rahmah. Ya ayyuhan nabiyu inna ahlalna laka azwajak. In these ayats, we will see how much of love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has for his Prophet. For his Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam What favors he has bestowed upon him Allah and Muhammad La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam O Prophet In a very with, with, with respect, honor and dignity Allah addresses him Ya Ayyuhan Nabi Indeed Ahlalna laka azwajak we have made your wives halal for you. We have made them, your women, your wives halal for you. Mausul, Allati ataita hujurahunna. Whom you have given their dowries, their muhur. Wama malakat yaminuk. And those whom your right hand possess. Mimma afa Allahu alayk from what Allah has bestowed upon you. Min al kuffar from the kuffar through the wars, bisabi through captivity, kasafiya like Hazrat Safiya and Hazrat Juwayriya radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma. Now this at this this tamseel we have to check the at first to understand where the tamseel is going back. So if we look in number four, 
we see Kasafiya like Hazrat Safiya and Juwairiya at Tamthilu Bihima, the Tamthil and the example, like both of them, requires something. Yaktadi Atfa Ma Malakat Yaminuk, it requires the Atf of that upon the Matuf Alay, which is Ala Silati Ataita Ujurahunna. So we have made halal for you, your wives whom you have given their dowries, Wama Malakat Yaminuk, and those whom your right hand have possessed. Fa'innahuma, because Hazrat Safi and Hazrat Juwairiya, min al Azwaj, are from the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Tazawajahuma, fa'innahuma min al Azwaj. Tazawajuma, whom he married Bada Itkihima after freeing them, after their itq, after their emancipation. Fa'inna huma min al azwaj, tazawajahuma bada itkihima radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. So here, O Nabi, we have made halal for you azwaja kallati ataita ujurahunna wa ma malakati yaminuk. Mimma afa Allahu alayk. Also, wabanati ammik, and the daughters of your paternal uncle, wabanati ammatik, and the daughters of your paternal aunt, wabanati kalik, and the daughters of your maternal uncle. Wabanati Kalatik and the daughters of your maternal aunt, aunts, Allati Hajarna Ma'ak, who have migrated and who have done the hijrah with you. Bikilafi man lam yu hajirna, contrary to those who did not do the hijrah, Allah says, those who made the hijrah with you. So Allah is saying, Kali Satallaka Mendunil Mu'mineen. This is especially for you, specifically for you, Mendunil Mu'mineen, and not the other believers. Not the other believers. Because He is the beloved of Allah, and there are so certain kususiyat and traits and advantages which Allah has bestowed upon Him, and no one else. Kali Satallaka Mendunil Mu'mineen. That is, an nikahu, the tafsir, an nikahu bilavdil hiba. Nikah with the wording of hiba. That is, wahabtu nafsi laka. I have gifted and granted myself to you as a gift. Which means there is no need for any dowry, no sadaq, no sidaq. An nikahu bilavdil hibati, min gairi sidaq, min gairi sadaq. That's not for, for us. That is for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What about the believers? Qad alimna ma faradna alayhim. Indeed, we are aware, we have full knowledge and ilm of that which we have ordained for them. Ay, al mu'minin, the believers. We are aware of what we have ordained for them, the believers. Fi azwajim, concerning their wives. Concerning their wives, that is min al ahkam of the laws that we have sent down for them and ordained for them. Concerning their wives, bi Allah yazidu ala arba that they will not increase upon four. Bi Allah yazidu ala arba'i niswatin they will not increase upon four wives. Wala yatazawaju illa bi waliyin. Wa shuhudin wa mahrin, and they will not do nikah except with the wali, the guardian, witnesses, mahar, dowry. These are the natural, normal circumstances for the nikah of for you believing women to the believing men. This loves of hiba and gifting and granting without any sadaq and mahar, it's not for you. قَدْ عَلِمْنَا مَا فَرَضْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ فِي أَزْوَاجِهِمْ وَمَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُهُمْ أَتْفْ And وَفِي مَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُهُمْ And concerning 
what their right hands possess. We are aware of all that we have stipulated. Fiyazwajihim wa ma malakat aymanuhum. Min al ima what their right hands possess, min al ima of the the captives, the slave girls, bi shirain or gairihi by shira purchase, or through mother, through some other way. It could be by a gift you have received. It could be by inheritance. It could be different ways. Bi shirain or gairihi. Be, and so we are aware of what we have made, we have what we have uh, ordained and declared for them, the believing men, the mu'minin, concerning their wives and concerning what their right hands possess. Min al imai bi shirain aw gairihi bi an takun al amatu mimman tahillu li malikiha by the Amma and the slave girl being halal for her master. That is how it has to be. That is how we have ordained it. Yes, ma malakat aymanuhum, what their right hands possess of the captives and the slave girls. Bi an takuna lamatu mimman tahillu li malikiha that the slave girl, by the slave girl being halal for her malik and her owner, kal kitabiya, like a kitabi. She's a slave girl, but she's of the people of the book, kitabiya. Bikila fil majusiya wal wathaniya, contrary to a majusiya, a magian, fire worshipper, or a wathaniya, a polytheist, an idol worshipper, contrary, and also how, they would be halal for you, how? That you would seek them. And that their wombs, the istibra, should be done. That is, the emptiness of their wombs should be investigated and sought. Qabla al-wati, before having jima and intercourse with them. So these are the two shart here. Wa fi ma malakat aymanuhu min al and this is the method and the way how that she should be from those who are halal for her malik kal kitabiya woman of the book contrary to al majusiya wathaniya and also how wa an you can see wa an tastabra'a qabla al wati and that you should seek the is the barat the freedom of a womb of any child, of any pregnancy, qabla al wati or antustabra'a, that that amat could also be read in a mature way, that, her, that she, istibra, should be done concerning her, her istibra should be done, antustabra, the emptiness of her womb should be sought, qabla al wati likay la yakuna alayka haraj, so that this does not be a problem for you, and a difficulty and narrowness for you. The Tarkibia is very important to understand this ayat. Likaila is muta'allikun bima qabla dhalika. It is connected to that which is before, before that. Muta'allikun bima qabla dhalika. And go back in number 10, you will see, go into number 10, muta'allikun bima qabla dhalika, connected to that which is before that. Yani, it is connected to what? Likaulihi, kali satallak, specifically for you, O Prophet. This is specifically for you. Wafi kaulihi. So therefore, the kaul that comes now, kad alimna ma faradna ilakiri jumlatun motarida is a jumla which comes in. By the way, is like it is a jumla which is interspaced between. A point and a kalam that is going on like what you normally put in English like in brackets. So taking the connection here, Kali Satallak Mindunil Mu'minin, specifically for you, besides the believers, 
Why have we done this? Likayla yakuna alayka haraj so that there will be no haraj upon you. And what is this haraj? Dhikun fin nikah so that there will be no dhik, no problem, no difficulty for you in nikah. There is wasat and freedom for you in nikah. You are my beloved, you are my habib. I give to you what I give to no one else. لِكَيْ لَا يَكُونَ عَلَيْكَ حَرَجْ ضِيْكٌ فِي النِّكَاءِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا And Allah is غفور. Allah is most forgiven. فِيمَا يَعْصَرُ أَتَّحَرُّزُ عَنْهُ Rootwood is the master. Usr, which is difficulty. There are two babs here. Asura, يَعْصُرُ As well as Asira, يَعْصَرُ Karuma and Samia. Bakan Allah Gafuran Fima Yasur Fima Yasar at Taharu Zuanhu. Those things which are difficult to safeguard oneself from and to avoid, Allah is most forgiven in that. And Allah is Rahim and merciful. Bittawsiyati fi dhalika by his granted this expansion for you fi dhalika in this nikah this is to the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa kana allahu ghafura fi ma yasur at taharruz anhu fi ma yasur at taharruz anhu Allah is most forgiven for those things which are very difficult to abstain and to withhold oneself from the safeguarding from it is quite so difficult. Allah is gafur towards that. Allah is rahim and merciful. Bittawsiyati fi dhalika in tawsiyah and granting you expansion in that. And women are to be loved and to be supported. And it's a natural thing for men to love women. And for a polygamous relationship also to this is also a natural way of life for men. Man is normally polygamous by nature, except those few who are contented with one, mashallah. But basically man is polygamous by nature. That is why Allah who knows us in the Jannah, Allah has granted so many and so many, at least 70, 72, at least how much? 70 or 72? Which is it? Huh? 70 or 72. That is the lowest number. That is the lowest number. 70 or 72. But I guess in the West here, we make a mess of it in the West. And it's done all how and all different things. But this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who knows. And especially in these days, the times that we are living in now, men are on the decline through natural birth less boy childs are being born men are dying in wars in jihad in battlefield women are overpopulating men and a time will come the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that to support women and see the affairs of one of women there will be one man become seen for 50 women they are qayyim they want to take care of the affairs. There will be one man would be their kayim to take charge of Kamsin and the affairs of 50 women. Men will be, men will be in, they would be the least and women will be the most. Anyhow, وَكَانَ اللَّهُ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا تُرْجِمًا تَشَاءُ مِنْهُنَّ You can defer and delay from them, from their naubat, from their turn, anyone you want, Allah has also granted him that. Turji man tasha umin hunna from irja bilhamzati walia. Turji u as well as turji bilhamzati walia i badalahu in place of the hamza. That is, to akiru man tasha. You can defer and delay min hunna. From your wives, as wajik, 
that is Anobatiha from her Noba, from her tomb, from her turn, which is her night and her turn. You can do that. What to we ilaika mantasha, and you can bring close to you, and you can take that is tadumu ilaika mantasha min hunna from amongst them, fatatiha, and then you can go to her, as well as wamanib tagaita mimman azalta, and those whom you seek wamanib tagaita, those whom you seek and it talabta. Mimman azalta from those you have taken out of the kismat and kasmul layali and nafaka you have taken them out. Fala junaha alayka there is no blame upon you. Wamanib tagaita mimman azalta fala junaha alayka fi talabiha in seeking her wa dhammiha ilayka and bringing her close to you. Kuyira the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was given a choice fi dalika in that. Bada and kan al kasmu wajiban alayhi after the qasam qasmu layali distribution of time and turns was wajib upon him if we look in number number 12 wa manibta gaita talabta ay those whom you seek talabta raddaha you seek her returning ila firashik you seek her returning to your bed bada and azaltaha after you have removed her, waskattaha min al qisma. After you have removed her from the kismat and distribution, if you seek them and call them to your bed afterwards, there is no problem. Tasir jumal wa fi abi saud ala kaulihi min manazalta ay talaktaha. Those you have given talak bi rajati wal azal. Asli it means at tarku. Asl means at tark. What, what tabaid and distance in oneself. So those whom you have removed from your kismat and kasmu layali, those whom you have given talak, which is like talak ya rajai, and you can return to her. You can bring them back. You have taken them out of your kismat. That is, they have no turns. If you seek to bring them back, Allah is granting you permission for that. وَمَنْ اِبْتَغَيْتَ مِمَّنْ عَزَلْتَ مِنَ الْقِسْمَةِ فَلَا جُنَاهَ عَلَيْكَ In number 14, قُيِّرَ ذَلِكَ إِلَىٰ أَكِرِهِ اِكْتَلَفَ الْمُفَسِّرُونَ فِي مَانَ هَذِي الْآيَةِ The Mufassirun have a difference of opinion concerning the meaning of this ayat. فَأَشْهَرَ الْأَقْوَالِ The most famous of the aqwal and statements is فَأَشْحَرُ الْأَقْوَالِ أَنَّهَا فِي الْقَسْمِ بَيْنَهُنَّ It is the ayat is concerning al-qasm, distribution of time and nights بَيْنَهُنَّ between them, amongst them. وَذَلِكَ And that was so. وَذَلِكَ أَنَّ التَّسْوِيَةَ بَيْنَهُنَّ فِي الْقَسْمِ كَانَتْ وَاجِبَةً عَلَيْهِ That in the beginning, the tasweeya and equality amongst them in distribution of nawba, turn and time and nights that was wajib upon him. Kanat wajibatan alay. Falamma nazalat hadhi ilaya. When this ayat came down, sakata anhu. Then the wuju of it dropped out from him. Wasara liktiyaru ilayhi. And the choice was his. Fihinna concerning them. Tafsir of al-Qatim. So Allah says, Turji man tasha. You can defer and delay whoever you want from your azwaj, from their nawba and time and turn, you can bring towards you, tu'wi ilayk, mantasha, tadummu ilayka mantasha minhunna, fatati, and then you can go to her, wa manib tagaita, and those whom you have, those whom you seek, mimman azalta min al kisma, who you have removed from the kisma, and from qasmul layali and their turns, or those whom you have removed, by even talaq, talaqi raji, by doing raja towards them, you can bring them back. فَلَا جُنَاهَ عَلَيْكَ فِي طَلَبِهَا In bringing her and seeking her, وَضَمِّهَا إِلَيْكَ كُيِّرَ فِي ذَلِكَ بَعْدَ أَنْ كَانَ الْقَسْمُ وَاجِبًا عَلَيْهِ Then Allah gives the hikmat and the wisdom in that. Allah says, ذَلِكَ أَدْنَا أَنْ تَقَرَّعَ يُنُهُنَّ 
that taqir which comes from Allah is closer. That is closer. It's the closest thing. Ila an ayunuhunna for the coolness of their eyes and his mastariya for their eyes to be cool for the coolness of their eyes wala yahzanna and for their not grieving wa yardayna and for their being happy and their happiness and satisfaction bima ataitahunna with what you have to present and offer and you have to give them they will be this will this is the best way this this way of taqir how is this the best way in number 15, very quickly, Dalika, because I need to finish this ruku. Dalika adna hada isharatun ila hikmati takhirihi fil qasmi. This is indicating to the benefit and the wisdom of his being, his grant, his being given choice in al qasmi, in distribution. Wa admi wujubihi alayhi, and it's not being essential upon him. This is the hikmat and wisdom here. The meaning, wal mana, is lam yajib alayhi al qasmu bayna nisa'i. It is not wajib upon him to do distribution of time and nights between his wives. Ma'annahu adlun, despite the fact that it is just. Ma'annahu adlun, li anna taqeera. Because taqeer and this choice is akrab ila sukuni ayunihinna. It is akrab towards the cooling of their eyes. Wa admi huznihinna. And their non happiness. And their, their, their not being happy. So what I'm saying. The absence of their sadness, I should say. This is closer towards the cooling of their eyes and closer towards absence of non-happiness and sadness from them and this is closer to their happiness with what will be achieved and obtained for them because when they either alima when they know and they are aware anna allah lam yujib ala nabi that the allah did not make this wajib upon the prophet lam yujib ala nabi shay'an min al qasmi he did not make anything of distribution of time and nights wajib upon. And now, وَحَصَلَ مِنْهُ الْقَسْمُ And despite that, he is still doing distribution of time now. Then sararna بِذَلِكَ They will be surur, they will be happy with that. وَقَنَعْنَ bihi, And they will be kanat and contentment with that. That is what is the, being mentioned here. That despite the fact that Allah has not made it wajib upon him, and yet still he chooses to draw lots when they go on journey and he chooses to distribute his time they will be so happy and they'll be so pleased with that وَحَصَلَ مِنْهُ وَالْقَسْمُ دَنْ سَرَرْنَ بِذَلِكَ وَقَنَعْنَ بِهِ أَلَّا مَسَّوِي Nassim just give me one minute to close off him وَاللَّهُ that is مَا ذَكَرَ الْمُقَيَّرُ فِي that in which a person has choice what he mentions obviously that is going to bring about that there will be more benefit than that one is when a person has to do something but he has a choice and yet he still chooses to draw lots on journey and to, to do distribute his time they will be so pleased with that Wallahu ya'lamu ma fi kulubikum Allah knows what is in your hearts min amrin nisa of the affair and the matter of women wal mayli ila ba'dihinna and being inclined towards some of them matters of the heart we have only given you a choice in them to make things easy for you in whatever you want we have given you easier and Allah is alim Allah knows well he is have good knowledge over his kalk and creation Allah is haliman and iqabihim and Allah is tolerant towards their punishment he doesn't bring it too quickly okay the next ayat would take a bit of commentary but time is out um, next week classes will um, next week exams will start in school our room at, at next week right so this is our last Jalali class for this term until next term but the Thursday classes the Thursday discourses on this but that will still continue for a while yeah